Hello guys, so today we are going to discuss the problem minimum and maximum which is min or max on code chef. So the problem statement goes like from a hidden array A of lane 10 stack constructs an array B of lane 10 such that for every i that belongs in the range 1 to n bi is either the maximum of uh, elements till that point of time or bi is minimum of all the elements till that point of time. So bi would be maximum of ai a2 till ai or it would be minimum of a1 a2 till ai okay and for the given array b of length 10 stack wants to check whether a possible array a exists or not okay so first of all the first line will contain an input which will be a single integer denoting the number of test cases and for description of each and every test case we will be given first of all the length of array b that is will be n and then we will be given n separated integers that would be b1 b2 till bn that are the elements of array b so these are the test cases that are given to us so let us discuss this test cases to begin with so first of all we are given three test cases okay and these are the three test cases that are given to us if you are having an array of size one array of size four array of size three and these are the elements that represent the array so what we know is we are given bi or we are given b okay that would be b1 b2 b3 till bn okay so we are given all the elements of array b what we know is that bi is, is either the minimum till that point of time or either it is the maximum okay and we want to know if an array b is given to us whether it would be possible to construct an array a that would uh, translate into that array b and would satisfy this condition that is bi is equal to maximum till that point of time or bi is minimum till that point of time okay so what we can do is like for each and every element till by, at that point of time in array b if we keep if we keep max so far okay and min so far in array b okay if we are keeping the max so far min so far in array b so suppose for this array we keep the max so far and min so far so the max so far would be one then again one this would be max so far okay so initially it would it was one then one then two then three okay and what would be the min so far it would be one 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 okay this would be the min so far so we can clearly see that uh, over here all the elements in the b are correctly aligning with the max so far okay so if we have to construct an array a okay we could have constructed it as one one two three itself okay and suppose we had to construct uh, suppose uh, this wouldn't be the case like it would uh, not align correctly with the max so far but some uh, elements would have assigned uh, like align with the min so far okay so suppose we have to check uh, for each and every element b that is uh, lying in uh, array b either it is lying in the max so far or either it is lying in the min so far okay so that we can say we can if if there is an element uh, in b which is either lying in the max so far of b till now or min so far of b till now then definitely we can arrange an array a okay why so because uh, if we are suppose this is the combination suppose first element was uh, aligning with min so far then max so far then again max so far then again min so far okay so this would this would have been the case suppose okay these are the elements suppose you can 
CA it is as P naught B one B two and B three. Okay. So B naught is equal to min so far, B one is equal to max so far, B two is again equal to max so far, and B three is equal to min so far. So what could have to be done is uh, like if we have to uh, arrange A naught A one A two and A two initially would have we would have assigned min so far to A naught. Okay, and then for B one we are getting max so far. So what we could have done is we could have assigned any integer in the range of bin so far to max so far, okay? Or we could have simply assigned it as max so far, okay? Again, we are getting the max so far, okay? So again, it would be greater than b1. It would be greater than b1, or it would be equals to b1, okay? So again, we could have assigned max so far. And then, since this one is the lesser one, we could have assigned it as min so far. That would be lesser than equals to b naught. Okay, so we could have. Uh, let's suppose uh, we take some examples as well. Suppose this was one, four, six, one, four, six, and uh, let us do this as two. Okay, so two, four, six, one. Okay. And simply our array would have been two, then four, then six, then one. So min till that point of time would have been two. Max till that point of time would have been four. Okay. Max till this point of time would have been six. And again, min for all the ranges would have been one over here. Okay. So if we are getting all the uh, B nodes that are the elements of B, either in the range uh, of min so far and max so far, that we know we cannot arrange and replicate an array and result that into A. But if we are getting on the edges, like we are getting the min so far, we are getting the max so far for each and every element, then obviously we can arrange an array A, simply that would replicate B. Okay, so for each and every element in B, we have to check whether it is lying. Whether now we have to check, we have to check. Whether each and every element is equal to max so far or min so far. Okay, if so, we can construct. And array A from B. Okay, else not. So let us dry run this on the test cases as well. Suppose uh, we have dry run this on the first test case or the okay, second test case. So, first test case was this. So, we are given only one integer. Okay, so max so far would be same and min so far also would be the same. Okay, so no point in discussing this. This would obviously be yes. If you are given only one integer, definitely we could keep that integer and make an array A from array B. So let us discuss this for the third case, test case itself. Okay, so this was 1, 3 and 2. Okay, so max so far would have been 1, then 3, then 3. Okay, and min so far would have been 1, 1, and 1. Okay. So over here, we can see this is the max so far, and this is the min so far. So for the first element, it is equal to the max so far. So it is aligning with max so far, and even the min so far as well. Okay, and for second element, it is assigning with the aligning with the max so far. Not with the min so far, but uh, even if it aligns with any of the max so far or min so far, as we have discussed, that is fine. But for the third element, neither it is equal to the max so far nor it is equal to the min so far. So, obviously, because of the third element, we cannot result or we cannot make an array A out of B. So, this would have been false. Okay, so for, for the first two test cases, we were getting true, and for the third test case, we would get false. So, let us check this as well. 
so yes yes no okay so let us go through the code implementation for this problem as well so this is the code implementation initially what we are doing is we are taking number of test cases as input and for each and every test case we are taking first of all the length of array b as input then we are creating the array b and we are taking inputs for the array b itself then what we are doing is we are taking max one and min one that is max one is equals to the max so far okay that we have discussed and min one is equals to min so far just uh naming of the variable says different but you can correlate it with max so far and min so far and we have initially assigned max as a very small value that is int min and we have assigned minimum as a very big value that is int max okay and what we are doing is we are keeping count of the max so far as the and the min so far okay so for each and every point we have calculating the max so far and the min so far and we are checking if bi is not equal to the max so far and and bi is not equal to the min so far as well then we are saying is possible that is constructing an array a from array b is not possible so we are assigning that as false initially we have assigned it true for each and every test case and if you find any point of time that is uh, any element that is lying in b is not equal to the max so far and the min so far as well we are assigning is possible as false so at last what we are doing is we are checking if this possible is true that is we were able to align each and every element of b with either the max so far or min so far then we are outputting yes else we are outputting no so let us check this for the sample test cases as well these are the sample test cases okay so we should get yes yes and no so we do get yes yes and no let us submit this for remaining test cases and check whether this uh, solution passes all the test cases or not So currently running on test case 8 so it does passes all the test cases and within the given time limits as well so we'll see you in the next problem till then keep coding have a great time guys thank you